Welcome back. United by Color celebrates cultural diversity, fosters awareness, and builds unity through the exploration of different cultures via music and celebration. The organization's mission is to connect people by highlighting and embracing cultural richness. Founder and President Apollo Jackson joins me to discuss UBC's impactful mission and its ongoing efforts to bring communities together. Apollo, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So yes. let's start off, you know, let our viewers know what is United by Color and what is your mission? United by Color, it's still new. Uh -huh. It's a new birth. Uh, but uh, as an event planner, mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, events. Uh, we started annually. We hope to do monthly. Uh, typically, I've done events for a long time in like a lot of like mainstream, like major rooftops and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and venues and restaurants. Um, and it's usually typically like you know what you hear on the radio, just mm -hmm. you know your regular you know type of event uh, for uh, people to have fun at. Uh, but I wanted to be able to explore and show different cultures mm -hmm. uh, that typically uh, don't get seen yeah. at these mainstream like locations. Right. Now, yeah. you know, I am the daughter of an event planner, so I'm so excited to sit down and have this conversation. And also, I just love a good celebration. Like, who doesn't love a good party, you know? In New York City, yeah. I exactly. You know, no better place than here. Tell me a little bit about what inspired the overall uh, organization. Uh, so the truth to uh, be told, uh, New York City, the Big Apple, mm -hmm. everyone wants to come have fun. And you always get that hole at the door like, you know, there's a problem to get in. There's always issues. Um, and I, I think the truth to be told is uh, there's a lot of prejudice. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of, you know, issues uh, that uh, maybe, uh, you know, are not said out loud. Yeah. Uh, but like, we know the deal. Mm -hmm. um, so with my ability to, I guess, help or be able to push that, mm -hmm. uh, kick in the door a little bit, I wanted to be able to show, you know, these cultures because I love different cultures uh, that typically won't be able to get the opportunity to have the music play, mm -hmm. uh, the people actually like get into these places. So yeah. that, that would be the inspiration. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, I love that you mentioned the point about how getting into certain places in New York City, it's so hard to get into. You know, I'm in the midst of planning my birthday and any place you go to, it's like you need to know somebody, you need to have a reservation, you need a promoter. You know it is, somebody. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, you need a promoter and it is so ridiculously hard. And it's like, wait, like I'm giving you my money, you know? Like I, I have no problem putting that down, but it is so, so hard to do so. So I think it's amazing that, you know, now organizations are coming to, for everybody, you know? and they're creating a space for everybody to host a party and to have a party and to enjoy whatever they're celebrating. Now, I do know that you've come from the educational system. How did you come from the education education system to a party and entertainment business? Yeah, I guess, you know, coming out of college, just, mm -hmm. you know, looking for a job. Yeah. I kind of got hooked up, um, but I, I grew up uh, uh, all over New York City, but mm -hmm. in particular in that area, so I lived in, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, there's Queens everywhere. Mm -hmm. But in the Bronx, I, I worked at a, uh, a uh, public charter school. Yeah. Um, a high school. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty intense. It's rough. Yeah, <laughs> but it was like it was very natural because right. I was actually like close in age, and mm -hmm. was able to connect with the students, and it was uh, very very fulfilling because mm -hmm. it was kind of like seeing me. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger. Uh, so I was there for a little while and also trying to juggle, you know, creating a business mm -hmm. and I had to pick one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I still have a love for the educational system. Yes. Now tell me, is there anything that correlates between the two? Anything that you picked up from the educational system that you now put into the party planning system? Yeah. I mean, um, I feel like at, at heart, like, you know, with the, the, the youth, mm -hmm. that's where the freshness comes from, the trends, uh, the music. Yeah the fashion, you know, what's cool, um, and also just the di diversity in New York City, mm -hmm. um, especially where I, you know, grew up, yeah. uh, all over New York City. Um, I, I feel like that is really New York City, mm -hmm. and we should show what we have, and it's no better time now. There's so much cultural diversity going on, mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like this is an opportune time to be able to, you know, show, show the world different cultures, especially in New York City. Absolutely. I mean, New York City is just this melting pot. You know, I'm I went to public school in New York City. It, it was 
everybody who you can think of, you know? And it, it's funny that you mentioned you kind of look towards the youth. I'm 22 and I'm still guilty of like looking at like 16 year olds, like what's cool now? What's trending, you know? They know, but and they they all, do. they've always known. Yeah. Exactly, they always know, and then they're the ones kind of pushing that forward, you know? And they're like the next generation bringing that in. So it is important to kind of look to them, and I feel like a lot of people will underlook them or overlook them, and it's like, eh, they don't know. But they know, and it's oh, very yeah. important, you know? Yeah, so uh, they inspire a, a lot still, mm -hmm. and you know, keep me keep me fresh on my toes. Absolutely. Yeah. And somebody else who helps influence your business is your wife. You say she is a big helping hand in this oh, business. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh yeah. I mean, first of all, she has to be happy at home. So you know, she she definitely uh, helps at home because mm -hmm. bring business comes home. Uh, yeah. It's like a twenty four hour thing, and she deals with uh, a lot and 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 helps a lot. So. We have a great foundation at home, uh, so we have a great relationship like that. So it actually kind of like feels very natural mm -hmm. anywhere we go. If we go to uh, a business dinner, you know, mm -hmm. so it's very natural. If we're working together on site, yeah, it's very natural. So uh, she's definitely uh, my rock uh, supporting um, because she's from uh, Brazil as well. Okay. Um, we do a lot of Brazilian events, uh, so uh, yeah, she's been a big help with that as well. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you just mentioned youth will sometimes look to the youth for to see what's trending and, and all of that. But tell me, how do you research cultures to uh, make commercial plans and market them? It's a, for, for me, I make it a big deal, big process. Uh, like, for example, just to give one example of the uh, uh, doing, like, showcasing, like, the Brazilian carnival kind of, like, yeah. theme vibe. Uh, we went to Brazil. So that was kind of easy because she's from over there, so we still with the family. Mm -hmm. But we shot a commercial in Rio. Uh, we uh, shot a commercial uh, in some famous locations mm -hmm. in uh, Rio. So it's, it's actually a, a very expensive, uh, extensive process. Yeah. Um, but then there's the whole uh, marketing plan. So mm -hmm. I like to create that and plan far out and we really push. Mm -hmm. um, I like to, uh, how can I say it, like power the event by yeah. the people. Okay. So if it's the Brazilian event or the Daisy event, uh, which mm -hmm. is means from South Asia, uh, the people that are pushing the event actually are in those countries. Yeah. So we hire VAs remotely. Uh, so we push the marketing and then it comes time to uh, decorate the, the event and put the DJ, mm -hmm. put the Pasista dancers, or you know we have a snake if it's like the Daisy event. So it's a process from you know creating the commercial and actually, I would like to make people feel like they're in the commercial when they're at the event. Yeah. Uh, so I, I make it a bigger deal than it should, but I just, I love it, production and event planning. Mm -hmm. But I think that's important, you know, and that's what's going to distinguish you from other organizations and other businesses, you know? Uh, and also something that you say is you basically tell clients if there's somewhere that you ever wanted to travel, but you haven't had the time, we will bring it to you. So tell me, how do you, you know, bring this full plan out, full authenticity, no detail goes unnoticed, step by step, give us a rundown. Yeah, I, I, I really indulge myself uh, for those, you know, months or weeks or mm -hmm. whatever to actually learn. Um, so I actually want to like know things, know about the culture, the mm -hmm. food, maybe some, you know, like cool trendy words yeah. or terms or phrases, mm -hmm. um, the fashion, uh, any like, uh, national drinks or food, whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, before the event happens. Um, and I, I feel like that puts me in the zone to be able to make the, the production authentic, uh, to mm -hmm. deliver that to the people, excuse me. That's awesome. That is amazing. I mean, listen, I have a bunch of places I like to travel to. I haven't found we'll the time. It, we'll I think we're going to do, I think Come we're going to do like a fun little Paris theme party here. I don't know. I'm down. <laughs> let me let me give me some time to learn first. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> yeah. So with that, you know, you've hosted a number of events so far. If you had to choose one, what was your favorite? I've, I've thought of that, and I just can't find an answer. It's like I become it each and every time. Yeah. Uh, each culture. Uh, I try to forget, you know, who I am, and like really put myself in that shoe. Uh, so they're all like near and dear to my heart uh, every time I do it. But I'm excited for like. I'm excited for new ones. There's, yeah. there's some like one or two that I'm really excited for that becoming like my little baby. Can you give us a sneak peek? Uh, I would say like uh, we have like, there's so many countries in Africa. Okay. And there's a lot of like uh, trending like music mm -hmm. uh, uh, coming from that continent. But 
uh, depending on which, you know, uh, region, uh, you know, maybe some African cultures, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some Asian cultures. I'm really excited about that. I got a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So you're also looking to collaborate with nonprofits and foreign consulates. Tell me, why do you feel like it's important for your organization to do that? Uh, I mean, like, it's, it's, it's just an idea now. Mm -hmm. There's just a couple of us. It's, it's, it's something small, but I feel like, you know, with the nonprofits and especially like foreign consulates, like we can work together, collaborate, uh, you know, with marketing, but also um, to to do the right thing and, and and have the people in the right places really push to, to fix, you know, I guess these issues yeah. that nobody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, absolutely. And most of the events you host are here in New York City, correct? Uh, yeah, at the moment. So where, you know, if you had to choose other places to go to and host events, where would you like to go? So the, uh, the website uh, uh, purposely has been coined like uh, U UB Color Global, okay. United by Color Global, uh, because, uh, you know, eventually uh, we want to be able to do things like in different countries mm -hmm. and move around and host in different countries. What if it's like, I don't know, the World Cup is here or, you know, a special event is there. We'd love to move around mm -hmm. internationally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so, you know, summer's almost over, but tell us, do you have any upcoming events and where should viewers go to find out more about it? Uh, we have some stuff in the store, but we can't, like, really uh, announce <laughs> it. Uh, but you can always go to, you know, social media, UB Color NYC, or the website, as mentioned, UB Color Global. Mm -hmm. um, always like posting stuff on uh, YouTube yeah you can find us that's awesome I guess we're gonna have to wait and watch and watch your social media and yeah. you know wait to see what's next but you, we can always get started with your birthday let me know <laughs> definitely yeah. Apollo thank you so much for thank joining you us so today. much thank you to learn more about the services they offer please visit their website at uvcolorglobal.com we have to take a quick break we'll be back with more open after this